earthquakes taking place around the world, but we're talking about one in New Jersey, especially in an area we would not expect to see this take place. I'm going to get into it, guys. Before I go any further, if you enjoy my daily content here on YouTube, I encourage you to help support my channel over on Patreon. You can do so for as little as $5 a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description gets you access to all of my bonus content, over 20 exclusive podcasts talking about sensitive information we can't touch here on YouTube. You get the alerts for anything that posts to Patreon. Unlike YouTube, you're not going to get all the alerts and you've missed a ton of content. So after you get done watching this video, browse back to see what it is that you've missed. I also got to thank Gigi, who recently became a $5 patron. Thank you so much for that support, Gigi. Now guys, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, like I said, these earthquakes, guys, we've seen an uptick, and these are in areas where we don't typically see earthquakes take place, like the one that hit earlier this morning in New Jersey. This was a 3.1 magnitude quake. The epicenter was near Freehold. Now, a small quake, but still, this was a shallow quake, and the more shallow these quakes are, the more likely we are to feel them, and this was felt all the way throughout even Philadelphia. It got even into Long Island. People reported feeling the shaking there. Uh, according to the report, over 125 people had actually called into 911 after the quake first hit. And then 5,500 people online reported uh, the felt it, that they felt this quake uh, in some area, wherever they were in and around Freehold, like I said, up through Philadelphia, Long Island, across New Jersey. This one was something else. Many people also said that it felt like their house had been hit with something. Others described it as kind of like the floor uh, was, was kind of going out from underneath them. Uh, again, not a feeling that they're typically used to here in New Jersey. In other areas of the world, you know, they're more used to earthquakes, you know, taking place on a more regular basis, but not here. Now, in this particular region of Freehold, there were previously only two other quakes that had happened. And, and we have to go back to 1992 and 1979. Now, both of those quakes were relatively small as well, a 3.1 and 3.5 uh, respectively. However, according to seismologists, they are saying that New Jersey as a whole, not here in the area of Freehold, but in other parts of the state, it's actually overdue for a much larger quake, which they think could in the future be somewhere over a 5.0 magnitude that they think could lead to casualties uh, if that were to happen. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. But as far as this quake goes, no reports of any major injuries, no casualties, anything like that. Just these people that were reported feeling the shaking. So it continues, and I expect this to continue going on even past today. Uh, we're going to see more of these quakes take place. And again, they're going to happen in areas where we're not used to seeing them. This is the sign that Jesus gave to his disciples. He said, that before his return, we were going to see earthquakes taking place in diverse places. So here you go. Now, maybe if you live in and around New Jersey, the Freehold area, if you felt the quake, feel free to let us know down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.